2.7, saving data. Now, when you've been doing lots of stuff in MATLAB, you'll notice that we've been creating a bunch of variables in the workspace window. And sometimes, you know, you might come to the end of a session and actually want to save that data that you've been doing stuff, okay? And although the the various commands in the command history are retained between sessions, okay, you'll see that there's a bunch of commands up here that we've used on previous occasions, okay? Um, the variables are not are not retained between the sessions. Okay, so if you've got data that you want to save, there's quite a straightforward way of saving it. You just type save, and you give it a file name. So I'm going to call it um, my data, and we, we give it a, a extension .mat, which is a MATLAB set of data. So if I click that, notice in my um, my current folder, I've got this new thing called my data .mat. Okay. Um, and the current path is, is shown um, in there. To restore the data, okay, you can load that map file into the workspace. You can either double click it or, or, or use the load command. Okay, so let's um let's do some practice. So we're going to clear all the data. Okay, let's clear the screen. Okay, um, and I'm going to type a equals one to five. Okay, as a thing, we've got b equals a. Um, times two, say, okay. Uh, I'm going to save that data, save um, my file, my file.mat, okay. And I'm going to clear the data, so notice nothing's gone, and I can type load my file.mat, and it brings them back, okay. Likewise, if I double clicked on this, my file.mat, it will bring them back as well. Now obviously you don't have to call the data my file, you can obviously um, call, it, call it whatever you want, but it's got to have a .mat extension, okay? Um, and you can actually use MATLAB to save and, and uh, reload data from a variety of different formats, including CSV, which is comma-separated comma variables, and even Excel files, okay? Um, the help system um, can obviously help you uh, deal with those sort of scenarios. And let's say you know um, um, you want to save some specific variables of a, of a not not everything but some variables, and obviously you can also do that. Um, so let's say we had a um, uh, let's say we just wanted to save a, okay? Then we could actually write save. Oops, save my file. My file two. No, this is my file map. Let's just replace it, okay? And we just want to save a. Then we write that. Okay, and then if we clear the data and now load it again, notice it's just coming up with A as opposed to A and B.